Hi, this is Justin with the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, today I'm going to go through another tutorial for you. This one is going to be uh, how to work with lines in SketchUp. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, the first thing I want to do, um, this is kind of a default model. If you open up a new model, uh, this is what will come into it. You'll get a start screen with a little model here. This is Sophie, and she comes with... Uh, she gets inserted into every new model that you create. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start off and let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get Sophie out of the model for this one. So um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can just single click on her and then hit the delete key or what we're going to do is we're going to use the eraser tool to do this. So uh, the eraser tool is located up here on the upper left hand corner. Uh, just looks like a little pink eraser. So what you're going to do is you're going to select this either by clicking on this or you can also type the E key on your keyboard. That's the keyboard shortcut for the eraser tool. So one quick thing I want to talk about with uh, the eraser tool is um, if you, uh, when you use it, you need to select lines to delete things. So if you click in here on a face and you don't cross any lines, um, then then you can't delete an object. So what you need to do is if you see this little circle, in the corner on the eraser tool you need to click and hold and make sure you cross at least one line see how as soon as I cross this line then she deletes if you just click in this face you can't delete her so if you're gonna use the erase tool you need to make sure that you um, click on a line for it to actually work so now we've got an empty workspace to work with um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by clicking on the little pencil up here that's the line tool that's going to allow you to draw straight lines in your model. So you can either click on the little pencil up here or you can also type the L key on your keyboard to activate that tool as well. So uh, let's just go ahead and start off by just uh, drawing a quick line. So you can click anywhere, anywhere in your model. You can click once and then drag and you can draw a line wherever you want to. So you click once to set your first point and then you click again to set your second point. So that's a real easy way to draw a line if you don't care um, about being super precise about the length or anything like that. So um, one of the things that you need to know about uh, the line tool is when you set that second point, the tool stays active. So if you see it's still uh, drawing a line out here or showing me where a line would be if I uh, if I created another segment. So you can go through and it stays active until you tell it to stop. So as you can see you can just kinda come in here and just add as many lines as you want and the tool will stay active until you tell it to not be active. So um, you can hit the escape key to turn that tool off so that you're not drawing lines anymore. So uh, like I said before you can set a line by clicking once and then clicking again and setting a second point you can also click and drag so if you click and hold down your mouse button and then let up it'll set that second point wherever you let up on your mouse and if you do it that way then as you can see the tool doesn't stay active it just ends um, right wherever you let up on your mouse button so that's another way you can draw a line if you want to do it like that so uh, I want to talk just a little bit about the way the inferences work in SketchUp as well so uh, you, you know one of the tricky things about 3D modeling software is, is you've got this 3D space and uh, it's very difficult to tell, you know, if you're drawing a line that's, you know, flat on this plane right here, or if you're drawing a line that goes up, you know, I mean, if you, you know, if you click and draw like this, and then rotate, you can see your lines on one plane, but if you click and draw, you know, if you click and draw that same thing, you know, just to the left of it, you can see it draws a line straight up in the air. So it can be kind of kind of tricky seeing um, or uh, making a program like this put lines exactly where you want. So uh, one of the ways that SketchUp helps you out with that is if you look you've got these colored lines in here. So you've got this blue line, this green line, and this red line. And uh, these are your ax axes. These are your axes. So and basically what those are is those are lines that tell you what plane you're on. Um, when you're drawing. So, um, you know, those kind of show you, you know, where the planes go and all that. Well, the nice thing about 
SketchUp is it's also got this inferences engine that'll show you um, that'll show you where your lines are going. Like let's say you wanted to take a line from right here and draw something straight up. If you see if you, if you kind of have it off kilter like this, it's not a colored line, and so that means it's drawing flat on this surface. But if you go straight up and down, you can see that SketchUp turns the line blue. So that's kind of your hint that, hey, you're drawing a line that's straight up and down instead of drawing something flat on this face here. Uh, same way if you're going to draw something along the green axis or the red axis, you can see that it changes colors. And that's just kind of telling you, like, hey, you've got a line that's parallel to this red line over here, or you've got a line that's parallel to the green line. And it kind of helps you out to just see where things are in your 3D space. So uh, one of the other things I want to talk about is when you're drawing a line, if you want to be precise about your lengths, um, then what you can do is you can um, give SketchUp a length to make your line. So like if I click right here, right, and I want to draw a 10-foot line along the green axis, so what I can do is I can set my first point and then um, type in 10 and then uh, the, little, uh, the little single quote. Um, and if you look down in the lower right hand corner when you do that if you type in 10 and then the little quote you can see it shows up in that length box so you can see how long you're making your line and then just hit enter and what that does is it draws a 10 foot line in whatever direction you were telling it to go so and that works in any direction so if you wanted to draw a 10 foot tall line you just type 10 a little quote and then the enter key and it'll draw a 10 foot line straight up and down as well. So there's a couple other uh, there's a couple other line tools that I want to talk about that SketchUp has. The first is the uh, freehand tool. So uh, if you click this little arrow up here and then you do this little drop down there's a tool that says freehand and basically this tool just lets you hold your mouse button down. You click once and then you hold your mouse button down and it'll just kind of draw along um, whatever path you want it to draw and it'll draw for as long as you keep that mouse button held down so uh, as soon as you let up you see how that line became thicker that's because it drew that line so as long as I'm uh, as long as I'm holding that down it's gonna keep drawing so and you know I don't use this tool a whole bunch uh, usually what you use that tool for is if you want to do something like tracing contours and working with the sandbox tools or something like that um, that's what a, that's probably the best use for that tool. Um, I don't use it a whole bunch in my day-to-day -day modeling, but it's there in case you need it. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the arcs, um, the arcs tool, and what that does is it lets you draw curved lines. So if you look up here, there's this little uh, half circle with some red lines in it. Uh, that's the arc tool, um, and right now this tool is a two-point tool so if you click on that and then uh, if you click on that or if you type the A key on your keyboard that's the keyboard shortcut for the arc tool but basically what you do with the arc tool is you set two points so if you click once here and once here you set two points and then you set the distance that you want that line to bulge out and you can either do that by dragging and clicking or you can also like let's say we wanted a five foot you wanted this bulge to be five foot you just type in five foot you can see it in the bottom right hand corner you hit the enter key and it'll draw it with a bulge of five feet so you can also when you're first drawing this if you set your first point and then you want this to be have a diameter of five feet you just type in five feet and hit enter that'll set your first point and then you can set your bulge so you can be um, fairly specific on what you want that to look like so there's a couple other ways you can draw arcs as well if you click this little drop down here uh, the second option um, is an arc where you set what you do is you set the center point for your arc so you set the origin by clicking once and then you tell it how long or how far out you want this arc to be You set your first point and then you can give it an angle so if you wanted this to be 45 degrees you just type in 45 and hit the enter key so this is helpful if you want to draw your arcs based off of like uh, based off of uh, angles instead of lengths so you can do that um, same thing as before you can set your center point and then tell it how far you want this uh, this radius to be so if you type in five feet and hit enter it'll start your point there and then you can set the number of degrees you want that to be so you can type in 90 to do a quarter circle 
and all that. Um, and then finally, there's this Pi tool, and it works a lot like the Art key, but unlike the Art key, um, when you set your first point, and then uh, you draw your arc, it'll fill it in after you're done, so it'll just draw these two lines right here, and it'll actually be more kind of like a, like a pie shape. Um, it's the same angle, the same arc that you drew before, but it just fills it in and makes it a shape, which is useful if you want to do things like extruding that into 3D and stuff like that. So that's an option in there as well. So those are SketchUp's uh, just line tools. They're the tools that you use to just draw lines in your model. Um, in the next tutorial we'll get into drawing shapes, so things like rectangles and circles and all that. But uh, hopefully this was helpful to you, and uh, if you wouldn't mind taking a minute to like this video below, I'd appreciate it. And also, um, if you want to click the little icon that's going to be up in the corner here, you can subscribe. I'm coming out with new SketchUp videos and tutorials every week, so uh, make sure you sign up there so you uh, know when those come out. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.